Candlestick Park, a stadium that has housed numerous championship teams, plays host for this matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the San Francisco 49ers. On paper, it looks like there are a lot of holes out there on that defense, especially against the run, and they're facing one of the top running teams today in the game. Yeah, it shows on paper that they struggle stopping the run, and it's a reality. They have struggled all year long, and today they better put some weights in their pocket because they're going to see a lot of runs right at them. Are they going to be strong enough to stand in there and take it? I don't know. Well, I'll have to see if they believe it. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. It's first down as they head to the line. Looks around. The defense gets the sack. I got to blame the offensive line that time. Giving up the sack early in the game like that. You cannot take chances. Don't overplay as an offensive lineman. If you do it, you give up the sack. Here. Drop back, shotgun formation. Going across the middle, balls spotted away. When it's third and long on the offensive side, you have very few choices on how to pick up a first down. Call one of them and see if you get lucky and see if it works. There's the quarterback, barking out new signals. That's a pass all the way. Incomplete. Just to update our earlier concussion story, we're hearing he won't be back in this game, which is the safe thing to do, and now it's the mandatory thing to do, in fact, in the league. Well, it, it's all the above. It's the smart thing to do, the right thing to do, Jim. That's the biggest thing. Remember, long-range um, health of these players, that's what's important, so he should not come back. Looking to the right side and throwing. Good piece of tackling. Always hard to pick up that first first down. Good job by the offensive coordinator designing some plays, keeping the defense off balance to get his team in rhythm. was a big gainer now it's time to pack it up they're going back up top looking at every option that pass play picks up the first down what a way to start the game on offense picking up another first down for them they are in rhythm and now no matter what they call they're going to feel like they're going to make it happen loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime Staying with the passing game on first down. He makes the catch. They bring him to the turf. When you see defenses playing man-to-man -man coverage, what they are seeing, we are going to force the quarterback to make an accurate throw. Well, that time, that was accurate. That's why they got the completion. Play number six coming up on this drive. Throwing now to his left. Gets a hand on that one to knock it away. Good job that time by the secondary. They're in good position. They make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. Hey, let's go. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Surveys. And that gains one. The quarterback's hollering out instructions. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Third down and ten. 
He'll fire it out to the left. That's a touchdown. What a throw by the quarterback for a touchdown. It was just really nice. He threw it beautifully right on target. Touchdown. The Eagles for the extra point. The point after is good. And following the extra point, the Eagles are leading by seven. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. Wiggles past the defender. Niners come on to the field for their next series. Two tights for this play. First down and 10. Frank Gore gets it here. The safety up in the box here. Quarterback dropping back, looking to get the feet planted. Touchdown, and that'll close the gap in this one. Well, here we are. It's a tie game now. We'll see how the teams react to it. Will it be positive or negative? Extra point attempt now. Extra point is good. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. They've got him down there. Safety is up in the box right now. Trying to find an open man. And it's Patrick Willis who makes the tackle. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Look at the hand signals he's given to the receiver outside. Playing press coverage to the outside. Steps back to throw. The Eagles get a first down. Well, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up, and make the catch. The defense comes out of the dime. First and ten. The handoff, running behind the tackle. The off-tackle run, it's just what it says it is. You're going to read the tackle's block and decide whether you're going to go inside or outside. Usually, this is the first running play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. Second down now. Staying on the ground to the right side. A little dime package here for the defense. The quarterback mixing things up at the line of scrimmage. The formation here, shotgun. Perfectly thrown, shoved out of bounds. That's a good job by the quarterback recognizing it's man-to-man -man defense. And when you see that, just watch the receiver leading to the open space. Nice completion.
They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. They give it to the running back. They deck him in the backfield. Play number six coming up on this drive. From the gun. Looking to go deep. Nice catch. Scores the touchdown. Well, Jim, it's almost impossible to guard these guys nowadays as they go down the field. These wide receivers, they have feet like ballerinas. And even though you get tight coverage, they're so quick, they can get open and make the catches. And the point after is good. 15 minutes down, 45 minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. And most people will still just call it the stick. Candlestick Park just outside of San Francisco. Eagles getting set for the kickoff. And Ted Ginn will get a chance here on the kickoff. This big return is going to set up his team in excellent field position. There is nothing like a good return when you talk about special teams. Good blocking, the speed of the returner gets down the field, and after that tackle, now they have good starting field position. Hey, the offense has a chance to do something with this drive. First and ten, Gore breaks away, bringing the play to an end. Number 21 hits the pull. One yard gain on the play. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. Trying to work the middle of the field. Shove to the sideline. Good job that time by the quarterback. Throw the short pass, even though it doesn't result in a first down. Now on third and short, all of your passes are in play instead of just the third long where you only have like three or four plays you can go to. Here's the safety inching up for this play. Third and five. The throw to the left. He has the grab. When you spy the quarterback, what it does, it just makes it easier to throw the football and complete those passes. Less people cover the receivers down the field. Let's see how they back up the big play here. He's looking. Asimwa picks off that pass. He's brought to a halt. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. Looks like they're in press coverage here. Quarters formation here for the defense. Now first and ten. Looking for an open receiver on the right. That'll stop the play right there. When a quarterback can run, it usually takes one guy out of pass coverage. Look at the spy that time on the quarterback. That opens up the passing lanes. Good throw and catch. First down here after the completion. Look at the defensive line. Everybody's shifting to the left. It's handed to the running back. The tackle is made. An off-tackle run, it's a staple of all offenses in the NFL. And a general rule is you run off the right tackle because he is the power tackle where the left tackle is the pass blocker. These DBs will not back off. The safety near the line of scrimmage. Look at that. The defensive line, everybody's shifting to the right. Second down and four. They feed him the ball again. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. This offense, they are methodical, aren't they? They're kind of boring to watch. First down, first down, first down. It's a throw all the way. Jeremy Macklin makes the grab. Nice job that time, getting that extra yard and getting that first down. This offense methodically just marching down the field. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. First down and 10. Running to his right. 
tackles made. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're a running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running it. Play number six coming up on this drive. Snap back to the quarterback, out of the gun. Stands in the pocket. Sliding to get away from the hit. Good job by the offense getting another first down. You can tell by looking down on the field, the defense, hands on their knees. They are getting tired. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Now in rhythm, the quarterback fumble. Justin Smith brings the quarterback down. That was just a terrible job by the offensive player that time. Protect the football. No excuse for letting it uh, fumble the football in a situation like that. First down here. Green makes the catch in open space. They tackle him for a loss. Well, we see it more and more. Football thrown behind the line of scrimmage. They do it that time. Nice catch, but a loss of yards on the play. So they complete that one, yet it's still second down. To the ground here, trying the right side. Gets past the first wave. When you see a long run like that, you know what it does? It just breaks the will of the defense. In the NFL, it's all about passing. You see all these wonderful things. But when it comes down to it, who can win the war up front? And you win the war by running the football. Great job by the offensive line that time. First and ten. Play action. Scans the field. And it's intercepted by Asamoah. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. Gun, gun, eagle, eagle. Extra DBs all over the field. Gun, gun, gun. Let's go. Let's go. First and ten. He'll throw it over the middle. Right on the money. They pounce on him there. The margin of error against man-to-man -man defense is much smaller for a quarterback than it would be against zone defenses. That time, the quarterback right on target. Good throw. The quarterback's calling something out. Now first and ten. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Nowhere else to go, and he's out of bounds. When you play zone coverage, the quarterback might have to hold the football just a little longer. But these guys nowadays, when you play zone, they know how to throw and catch and get it done. From inside the red zone, press coverage all the way. From the shotgun, and he wants to throw it across the middle. Eagles in the end zone. Well, you got a lead. You drive down the field. You score a touchdown. Now we're going to find out if the other team can stay patient or will they panic. Inside of the uprights. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. Setting up return. Nice tackle. Well, that time the kick returner just does an awful job. He doesn't read the blocks. His guys are knocking him down. He goes the wrong way, and that gives him bad field position. Ohio! Ohio! Offense lines up here. The quarterback throws to the right. He's stacked up at that point. Find a way to score. That's always the mantra with every team when they get in the red zone. 
if you punch it in here, even though you're down by more than seven, it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game. Ohio! Ohio! Look at the safety here, moving up at the last moment. Play fake here, running away from the sack, working that left side. And it's knocked down incomplete. Well, anytime you're in the red zone, you want to punch it in and get that touchdown. If they do that, look, they still, they're still going to be behind, but it gives them confidence moving forward. Flex round! Flex round! The offense ready to take advantage of this golden opportunity from the red zone. The quarterback has his team's attention here. out of the pocket anytime you get in the red zone you want to punch it in there and get seven points uh, they're being dominated today they're down more than seven but don't worry about it score here and just keep playing the corners are gonna meet the receivers right on the line of scrimmage it'll be third down to the left side. Well, when you get this close, it'd be nice to punch it in there and score. Even though you're still going to be behind, execute the play and get it done. One more snap in halftime. Out of the gun. The quarterback throws the pass. This is where games are won and lost. Once an offense gets down the red zone, even though they're down more than seven, can you find a way to punch it in there for the touchdown and not settle for a field goal? We're back here now in this one, where the Eagles lead by 14. like the receiving team has recovered. Touchdown. That'll close the gap. You talking about lifting a team up when you get a kick return for a touchdown, it excites everybody, makes the crowd go crazy, but it gives your team such momentum and your chances of winning, they go through the roof when you get a kickoff return for a touchdown. Count it. David Akers lining up for the kickoff. He's brought down. Eagles get ready to start their drive. Good job here by the quarterback. He doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. Inhales the pass. There's a player down on the field. Trainers on their way out. Well, that's a good sight for all the fans to see. He gets up and walks off the field. I think he's going to be okay. He's just going to need a couple minutes to... Catch his breath, and, and uh, we'll see him back on the field, it looks like shortly. Back to the air here on first down. The Eagles now move the chains. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities. And let's go base 24. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. First down and 10. Scanning the field, running away from the pressure. Alden Smith with the quarterback takedown. They get set quickly, ready for another snap. There's the quarterback barking out new signals. The offensive line gets in position. Can they protect their quarterback? Looking across the middle, squeezes it into coverage. 
Good job getting the first down by the offense. And look at the defensive players on the sideline cheering their teammates on. Keep us on the sideline a little longer. That's what they're hoping for. Here's the first snap after the big play. First and ten. We'll run it. Here's the handoff. And that's a gain of ten. Running backs who can pick up extra yards, they are so valuable. You can't always block everybody to the ground. The running back's got to do it himself sometimes. Nice job there by the running back. First and ten. Another carry here. That's a gain of eight. The offense is so close right here. They just need to show a little power and punch this in the end zone and get that touchdown. These defensive backs are ready for a battle. Play number six coming up on this drive. They hand it off to him again. They knock him down behind the line of scrimmage. Now the offense in a hurry up. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Playing press coverage to the outside. Good job by the defensive line shifting all down inside. I think they're expecting a run up the middle. Roughing the passer call gives the offense 15 yards and a new set of downs. Yeah, and it was a, it was a terrible roughing the passer that time. He absolutely took two steps before he hit the quarterback. You can see when he lets the ball go. When you see him let it go, pull up. This will be the eighth play of this drive. LaShawn McCoy. There's a signal from the far side. The hands are up. It is a touchdown. When you got a lead, you march down the field, and you add on to that lead with a touchdown, it's fun to watch the other team. Will they stay patient, or will they panic? My bet is they'll panic. This works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history, and they'll go for that two-point conversion. From the gun, going across the middle, put in addition. Two points on the board as they convert. Eagles getting set for the kickoff. And Ted Ginn will get a chance here on the kickoff. Tackled down at the 28-yard line. The 49ers are getting set for their next possession. They come to the line, and it's first down. Now cutting to the right side, looking for some open space. Fights through that hit, and they tackle him there at the 34. They're going to the hurry up, back to the line. The quarterback's hollering out instructions. That leads us to second down. Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. And he's brought to the ground. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. That's a gain of six. Wasting no time now for this next play. Look out, the defense is showing a blitz here. Quarterback drops back. The ball is out. Not giving up another inch. Well, the one thing we know about the NFL, when you have the football in your hands, they are going to attack it. You've got to know that as a ball carrier, protect it a lot better. The replay rule comes into effect. The challenge pays off. The play is overturned. Yeah, so many close calls in the NFL. And we see it every single week. That's a good job by the head coach getting the information, making that decision, and he wins. Looks like they're in press coverage here. Defense comes to the line, ready to pounce on that quarterback one more time. Can they get another sack right here? They'll go shotgun here. He wants to go deep. 
Dominique Rogers Cromartie has an interception. In on the stop. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. Split backfield here. Now first and ten. Looking to the right side and throwing. The pass is incomplete. There was no one open. Here we have second down. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. Look at the hand signals he's given to the receiver outside. Trying to work the middle of the field. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. You can't play zone coverage against this quarterback. He knows it's zone, and he's going to find the open throwing lane, and he gets it done. First down here. McCoy. That brings the play to an end. When you see a long run like that, you know what it does? It just breaks the will of the defense. In the NFL, it's all about passing. We see all these wonderful things. But when it comes down to it, who can win the war up front? And you win the war by running the football. Great job by the offensive line that time. Touchdown, Philadelphia Eagles. Nowadays, so many kids, they grow up, they want to be wide receivers. I don't blame them. They're out there, they get to catch the football, they get to score touchdowns, they get to do dances, and you're not really allowed to hit them either. What a job. Lined up now in kickoff formation. Here's the kick, and this one's just a little squib kick. And he is tackled at the 44. Number 24 on the return. Forty Niners getting ready now to start their drive. The defense comes out in the nickel. First down and ten. He's headed right. Breaks free. Knocked out of bounds. A lot of ways to get plays in the NFL. It doesn't always have to be by a pass. Good job that time by the running back. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. Trent Cole gets to the quarterback. you got to make adjustments as a quarterback. When the pressure's there, forget the fake, get in position and get rid of that football. Ohio! Ohio! Look at that. Everybody at the line of scrimmage, the defense showing a blitz. Offense lines up here. Play action fake and dropping back the throw. That's an interception. Good piece of tackle. Good job by the defensive back. Reading the wide receiver, makes the break at the perfect time and gets the interception. The quarterback mixing things up at the line of scrimmage. And the D-line shifts together now. Closer, expecting a run. Trying to make something happen. Dangerous pass into double coverage. The passer, defense. Players showing no restraint. Coming in on the quarterback. And that late hit will cost his team 15. A lot of times these late hits are called. And I, I feel for the defensive player. Not in this case. That was an easy call. A blatant late hit. It's worthy of 15 yards. Left side. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. No huddle time. Boy, after watching that long run, I'm winded. That was a nice job by the running back. Good job up front, sustaining the blocks. The offense has got to be happy with that. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Taking it right up the middle. It's a touchdown. Terrible job by the defense. Somebody has to keep their eye on the quarterback. Nobody does. And he's able to get out of the pocket and get the long run for the touchdown. The point after try is in the books. 
And after that extra point, the Eagles are leading by 29. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. He's got a chance to return this one. Ships away. And the tackle is made at the 41. Well, there's nothing that time the kick returner could do. Terrible blocking up front. Nobody gets their job done, and that's why they have bad field position. The 49ers come onto the field now for this next series. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. The tackle is made at the 40-yard line. Good job by the quarterback that time. Ohio, he didn't take the bait. Ohio. He didn't throw it down the football field. He threw it short to the open receiver, and we've seen it so many times. Throw it to the guy is open and see if the defense can make the tackle. The pass. 49ers in the end zone. What a good job by the offense driving down and getting that touchdown. Even though they're still behind, they're chipping away at this lead, keeping the pressure on their opponents. No time to waste. They hurry to the line. Add the extra point. The kick is good. Time's becoming a factor in this one as the Eagles are leading by 22. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. Fair catch, signal made. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. Eagles ready to take over the football. First down, offense ready for the snap. Hey, up the middle. That last play made by Patrick Willis. No time to huddle now. The quarterback's calling something out. That second down coming up. Takes the staff from the shotgun. Down the field. Knocked away incomplete. I think that's the hardest pass a defensive back has to defend. The long throws down the field. You have to wait to the last second to make your play. That time the defensive back did it. What a play. After the incompletion, third and four coming up. Out of the shotgun formation. Ball's thrown incomplete. Great coverage there by the defense. That's a wonderful job that time by the secondary. Everybody's in position. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football, and it leads to another incomplete pass. Not sure why they're going to go for it at this point, but they are. They're not going to punt. He'll throw it over the middle. Oh, we've got an injured player on the field. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent it's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. 49ers getting set now for their next series. Great starting position here for the offense. First and ten. Left side. They bring him to the turf. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. Getting away from the pressure. And he's going to be brought down. The name of the game is hit the guy with the football. The quarterback has it. The defensive end, what a job by him. Gets by the tackle and sacks the QB. Ohio! Ohio! Looks like they're going to run a little wildcat here. Drop back, shotgun formation. Fakes the throw, still has it. Watch, catch! There is nothing like the long throw down the field where the quarterback throws it high and far. What a throw, what a catch. Just excellent execution. Didn't result in a touchdown, but still a special play. The offense coming to the line inside the opponent's 20. Short run, and it's a touchdown. If you're a quarterback in the NFL now, when you break the pocket, 
and you're looking to throw it. Nobody's open. You cannot be afraid to run. My man is not afraid to run, that's for sure. What a good job. Scrambles for the touchdown. It's getting late in this one. The Eagles lead by 15. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. come on to the field for their next series. First down coming up. Running it like it's an option play. He'll try to navigate through the middle of the line. They hurry to the line of scrimmage. Offense lines up here. The quarterback has his team's attention here. Second down and five. And he wants to throw it across the middle. That incompletion by the quarterback, hey, I give the quarterback no fault. That was just tremendous coverage by the secondary player. He's in position and able to uh, make the football be incomplete. And let's go, base 24. Third and five following the incompletion. Trying to overpower him. Here's the run out of the strong eye. Touchdown. There is nothing like a long touchdown run. It takes so many elements to make it happen. Good blocking up front. A broken tackle by the running back. Blocking down the field by the receivers. They had it all. What a touchdown run. They're going to bypass the point after and try to pick up the two-point conversion. They failed to convert on the two-point try, so they'll just have to settle for the six. Eagles getting set for the kickoff. And he begins his return. They've got him down there. What a good job by the kickoff team. The ball's kicked high in the air, and they sprint all the way down there. The blockers can't get set up. Nice tackle. Now they got great field position for the defense. The 49ers get ready to start their drive. First down on the way. The formation here, shotgun. Going for the home run. What a catch. Slips past one player, dives across, and he's in for the touchdown. Well, it's a nice touchdown drive by the offense. They're still behind, but I got to say this to the defense. You're just giving up. You're letting them march down there and letting them get back in the game. Toughen up and get it done. Well, that's going to pay off now. That challenge was very timely indeed. Yeah, it was. I think the coach even saw the results on the field himself. That's why he challenged. Good job. He wins. From the gun, eyeing that left side. Knocked down. Jim, the coaches tell us the same thing every week about defenses. Can we hold them to field goal tries and not give up the touchdowns? Here we are. They got more than a seven-point lead. Can you hold them to a field goal try? Well, we'll find out. Second down here. Snap back to the quarterback. Out of the gun. Makes the grab. Touchdown. Good job by the offensive coordinator. Calling those plays. Leads to a touchdown. They're just slowly chipping away at this lead. Now can the defense come out and help them out? Time's becoming a factor in this one as the Eagles lead by 14. for fair catch. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. Eagles are getting set for their next possession. They face first down. Five-step drop. Looking long. 
great coverage there on that pass attempt. What a good job by the defensive back that time. That ball was thrown beautifully down the field. High arcing throw, but the defensive back in great position knocks it down. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Here's the give to LaShawn McCoy. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Good job here by the quarterback. He doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. The quarterback throws the pass. Hard to throw over some of these linebackers in the NFL now. They got such good size. You try to throw over them. Here's what happens. These big guys will knock it down. Base 24. There's the quarterback barking out new signals from the shotgun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Bringing the play to an end. Nowadays, it's getting harder and harder to play this tight man-to-man -man coverage because you're not even allowed to touch these, these superstar wide receivers. Hey, let's go! Gun, gun, gun! That long gain sets them up here on this play. First and ten. They'll go ground. Ball's out. That is not a turnover. That is truly a takeaway by the defense. Their hustle to the football, the hard hitting, that's what got them the takeaway. Ohio, let's round, let's round. It's first down as they head to the line. Out of the gun. Looking for an open receiver on the right. To a halt. What a job by the quarterback finding a way to throw that football and pick up another first down. They are marching down the field right now. First down here from the gun. He'll fire it out to the left. Staying with them stride for stride, and the pass is incomplete. Second down. Ohio, Ohio. <laughs> Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. Touchdown and drawing close. What a tough throw and catch into a tight spot right there for the touchdown. But today's game, these players are so good that you have to throw it in traffic. They've got to make the catch. That time he did. The kicking team now getting set here for what looks like an onside kick. There's the flag on the field. Illegal touching. That First ball, down. again, not traveling 10 yards. And what are they thinking over there on the sideline? Well, they're thinking this is why everybody hates kickers. Get the ball down there 10 yards. My gosh, kick it 15 yards. We'll still recover it. Just a, just a terrible mistake. They bring in the extra tight end. Play action. Quarterback has it on his hip. And now looking to throw. Got to give the secondary credit. This passing lead now, it's hard to make plays, but a good play there and another incomplete pass. Hey, let's go, base 24. Gun, gun, gun. Failing to complete that one, so second down here. Dropping back to throw. Looks to his left. The Eagles get a first down. That'll stop the play right there. Good job of getting this football down in the red zone. The lead, very small. Got to be smart in how you dial up these plays from here. First down, following the long play. Good, good, good. They're going to call a timeout here to stop the clock.
after the long gain. Let's see what they do here. A tackle behind the line. Well, this game is close. This offense has got a lead. They're down in the red zone. Got to be very careful in situations like this. The defense trying to make a play here in the red zone. They call for the timeout to stop the clock. Quarters formation here for the defense. That's a timeout call. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Takes the knee. The Eagles getting set for the field goal try. This one could have gone either way. Each side made some spectacular plays, but we've come to an end, and what a game it was.